Get ready to be comfortable being uncomfortable. I'm going to tell you how I bought a plane ticket to a place I've never been to hang out with people I've never met and how that started a new life and a new adventure for me. It's showtime. Hi, I'm Mike Lloyd. I run a multi six figure boudoir studio here in Silicon Valley, California. And I'm excited to share this adventure with you because it's one of my favorite things uh, that I sort of stumbled upon in my entrepreneurial journey. And it's totally changed everything. So I'm excited for it to change your life as well. So a few years ago, I bought a plane ticket to San Diego, California to go to this event. I heard there were going to be entrepreneurs there. I wanted to meet some entrepreneurs. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what was actually going to happen. I just knew there'd be smart people in the room who made way more money than me. And I had made the decision about a month or so before that, that I need to surround myself with a new type of person, with people who were ambitious and crushing it in the business space and doing things that I wanted to be doing. Now, that doesn't mean that I had bad friends before, but we weren't headed in the same direction and I needed different influences in my life to be inspired by different kinds of people. So I got this opportunity, bought a plane ticket and I went. Now I met this guy there who is still my mentor today after, what is it? Three and a half years now. And just everything he said was just fireworks in my brain. I was like losing my mind, scribbling down notes because he was changing the way that I thought about money and business, personal development and self-worth. And it was just such a powerful thing. So I approached him after he was done talking and I said, Hey, uh, I can't afford your coaching, but do you need a photographer? Because I'd be happy to do photography for you in exchange for your wisdom. And he said, actually, I am looking for a photographer. Where do you live? I'm like, not here, but that's a short plane ride. Um, and so I started driving down or flying down once every other month or so photographing him, learning from him who brought me into this whole new world, meeting entrepreneurs, running seven, eight, nine figure businesses, celebrities. I've met some incredible people doing amazing things and made that my new world and my business exploded. And my life is better than it ever has been uh, with these new tools that I've got from the personal development world. So I'm going to share with you five of my big takeaways from that space so that you can start implementing these in your life as well. The first, what is a growth mindset in business? The second, the decision to get started. Number three, making your list. Who's in your circle now? Number four, think bigger. And number five, make a new comfort zone. So number one, what is a growth mindset in business? It's acknowledging that we always have more to learn. There's always somewhere bigger and better that we can be. Now, that's not to diminish where you already are and what you've already done. But that's saying, it's amazing that I'm on top of this mountain. I'm going to go to the next mountain that's even bigger. And once I get there, I'm going to go to the next mountain that's even bigger. So finding the balance between... I have a long way to go. I barely scratched the surface to I'm always going to continue growing. I'm never going to peak. I'm only going to get better as long as I continue on this journey. That feels pretty darn good. That's what a growth mindset is. You are always learning, always growing. You've never hit the top because there is no top. As soon as you get to a point you think is the top, set more ambitious goals, make something bigger, do something more. It's totally up to you. And it's Frickin' amazing. Number two, start by making the decision. Decide right now that you're going to continue growing as long as you're alive. Because there's no stasis. You're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. No one ever stays the same. So you can choose to either continue getting older and never improving your life, which to me is moving backwards. I'm not completely helpless. Or you can continue moving forward and growing and only getting better as you go. But the choice is yours. And to not make a choice is making a choice. What did you expect? So knowing this, you can continue to be wiser, to be smarter, to learn from more people, to grow your circle, to make more money, to change the way you view the world and yourself and relationships. Because once you get started on that journey, you're never going to want to look back. It's such a cool thing. Number I can't count. This is why I'm a photographer. 
what? Number three. Make your list. Who's in your circle? Like, this is an inherent thing anyway. You already decide who is in your life. You choose which friends you hang out with, which family you get to see. Obviously, if you have children, you need to take care of them. That's really important, right? You can't just like X everybody out of your life as easily as some, you know, as some other ones. But you still choose who gets to be in your life. Good idea. So when you are hanging out with the same folks who complain about their nine to five and they just get drunk on the weekends and sit on the couch for 48 straight hours only to go back to work on Monday and be just as miserable and every week is a copy paste of the previous week. My whole life is a dark room. That's fine. If that's the life that you want, amazing, go own it. But that's probably not why you're here. Or you can choose to surround yourself with people who are building incredible businesses to support incredible charities and helping people around the world, changing lives. They have financial independence. They can send their kids to college if you want to go to college or send you know, go on vacation 12 months in a row because you saved up enough money and you have the freedom to go do that. You can literally do anything. And hanging out with people who constantly complain, who are constantly the victim, who never claim ownership of their outcome, despite having ownership of their outcome, that's not who you're going to want to be surrounding yourself with. That energy is contagious. If you hang around them, that's how you end up. We're dealing with negative entertainment potential here. And if you hang around people who are ambitious, who are doing great things, who elevate and support each other, that's who you become. I don't know about you, but that's a really easy choice for me to decide which of those two camps I want to be in. I'm not completely helpless. Number four, take challenges that scare you. I don't know anyone who's ever thought, man, I wish I would have started or uh, thought smaller. I wish I would have been less ambitious. I wish I wouldn't have made as much money and changed as many lives. I wish I didn't travel as much as, as I really did. But I, no one says those things. But everyone thinks, what if I just pushed myself a little bit harder? What if I just had a bigger goal? What if I tried for something bigger? Maybe you would have got it. Maybe you wouldn't have. But you never know unless you tried. You can find a little action. <laughs> and that's the important thing is setting goals that scare you because you just might hit them. And, and there's a concept, um, Parkinson's law. It states that we will accomplish a task with the given resources that we have. So if you give yourself one week to do something, you'll do it in a week. If you give yourself a day, you'll get it done in a day. If you give yourself $1,000 to get a job done, you'll get it done in 1000 If you give yourself $10,000, you will find a way to spend 10000 to get the same job done. It's the same thing with our goals. If we say, I'm going to hit this point, then you'll work to hit that point. But if you say, I'm going to hit this point way up here, you'll work to hit that point way up there. So setting more ambitious goals, even if you don't hit them, you're still likely going to end up farther than if you would have set less ambitious goals in the first place. And again, you just might actually reach those crazy audacious goals. Ah, uh, here we go then, ready? And the last one, number five, is make your new comfort zone. I hate the phrase, get outside your comfort zone, because that implies that it's only gonna be uncomfortable out there. But no, create a new comfort zone. You're in control. It's all your decision. And that's part of this whole journey is complete ownership. So yes, I'm comfortable being where I am. I make really good money. I have a great life. I want bigger. I'm doing things next year that I've never done before. They kind of scare me, but I have good people in my corner. And I know I have the resources and the, and the connections around me to get all of this stuff done. And who knows what else I might accomplish along the way or what other journeys might pop up. I don't know, but I'm excited for the ride and I know it's going to be good no matter what. So I'm going to choose to not stay where I am. I'm going to choose to make this new place my comfort zone. And if you go into these new activities and say, I'm going to go into this and be really uncomfortable, then you're going to be really uncomfortable. And if you go into these things saying, I'm going to go into this new place be this new type of person and I'm going to be comfortable and I'm going to own it, then you will. I know it sounds crazy, but it's totally true. Maybe not on the first day. It might take you a little bit of time. But if you tell yourself that it's yours, that you own it, that this is your comfort zone, it will be. And if you tell yourself that you're constantly uncomfortable and you don't belong there and this isn't right, then that's what's going to happen too. The choice is yours. So I hope you've seen a running theme here. You're totally in control of all of these things already. 
It's time to start using them to your advantage. Starting today, make that decision. Go back to point number two, decide right now to do that. Because you're going to make a choice either way. You might as well end up in the camp of achievers because that's sure as hell where I want to be. So definitely check out the next video. Learn more about how to build your photography business, how to grow as a human and as a business owner and as a photographer, because it's only up from here. And I'm so excited for the ride. See you inside.